Do you know which causes more problems, old concrete or new concrete? Neither do we. But before you thumbs down this video and search for a different one, let me explain. I say we don't know because there's no hard and fast rule like most things in life. It just really depends. But we do know how you can make the decision for yourself, and that's what this video is all about. In order to determine which type is more problematic, old or new, we're going to walk through the top issues for old concrete versus new concrete. Now, you may have subscribed to the common misconception, because a slab is old, I can't have moisture problems. Let's talk about old slabs first, and I'll tell you why that's just not true. Acceptable slab construction used to be to place a blotter layer in between the vapor retarder and the bottom of the concrete slab. Unfortunately, this allows the potential continuous source for moisture to come in contact with the concrete. Also, if the vapor retarder was used and placed directly under the slab, materials have changed and the odds of that retarder still being intact are slim. So this allows for potential moisture from the soil. If the retarder is directly under the slab and is still intact, who knows if the original moisture from the concrete mix was able to evaporate out during the original install. I know, but Jason, if that were the case, why didn't the floor fail? Or, you know, Jason, it was actually difficult to pull the original floor off of the slab. So that's why we don't normally moisture test old slabs. Well, products have changed over the years. Not saying they are better or worse, but adhesives and flooring products are different. Some of these products could withstand more moisture. They would actually encapsulate it. But when you remove it, the moisture is still in the concrete, and today's products could have different moisture tolerances. So, it's kind of like unearthing a beast. Bottom line, always test the moisture. And that's just the problems with old slabs. Let's talk about the issues with new slabs. Arguably, the biggest issue is this unrealistic expectations of drying time. The rule of thumb is 30 days for every one inch of slab thickness once conditions are appropriate for drying. But that's just a rule of thumb. Again, not a hard and fast rule. You must, I repeat, you must test the moisture in the concrete in order to truly know if you're ready to install. Another issue is having poor conditions for drying. This usually means not having HVAC up and running. It's important for your structure to be enclosed so that the in-surface environment is stabilized, meaning the temperature and relative humidity have balanced out. If you install before those conditions are met, you're really asking for trouble. And finally, the last issue with new slabs is the amount of water in the mix. Too little, and the slab doesn't have what it needs to form the characteristic strength of concrete. But too much water will make the concrete take longer to dry. It's a delicate balance so be sure to follow installation best practices. So which do you think is trickier? I'm inclined to say old slabs just because the issues are easy to overlook and are oftentimes underrated. But let us know which type you think is more problematic in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future tips. See you next time.